determining when to apply the HL congruence property. For each pair of triangles, determine whether the hypotenuse leg or HL congruence property can be used to prove that the triangles are congruent. If necessary, you may learn what the markings on a figure indicate. So if you have questions about the markings, then you can click on that link in this problem. Um, so we have four different pairs of triangles here, and I need to know if they are congruent. Um, well, can the hypotenuse leg congruence property be used to show they're congruent? Okay, now the hypotenuse leg congruence property says that if the hypotenuse of both triangles is congruent or the same length and one pair of corresponding legs is congruent, um, then the entire triangle is congruent. Or in other words, the third leg will also have to be congruent and all three pairs of corresponding angles will have to be congruent. So if I can show just those two things, that the hypotenuse, right, of each triangle is congruent, or they're congruent to each other, and one pair of corresponding legs, then I know all the rest of the, right, parts, corresponding parts of the two triangles are also congruent, okay? Um, so it's a little short, congruence shortcut. So I need to look at the hypotenuse and the legs, okay? Now the hypotenuse is if you remember, always the one directly across from the right angle. So in this first pair, right, these two that I highlighted um, are the hypotenuse of each triangle, okay? And I can see that they are the same length. They're congruent. They're each 25 kilometers long, okay? Now I need a corresponding leg, okay? So if I look here, the short leg on that triangle, okay, and the short leg on that triangle are a corresponding pair, and those two are also congruent. They're both marked 15 kilometers. So this one, I do have, right, the hypotenuse in each triangle and one pair of corresponding legs that are congruent. So I know that, yes, the rest of the triangle is congruent. I can apply this theory. Okay, or this theorem. All right, so problem B here, okay? So again, my hypotenuse is always the longest one, the one directly across the triangle from the right angle, okay? So here's my right angle. If I go directly across the triangle, then I'm looking at the hypotenuse. Um, and these two are marked congruent, right? That little slash or notch, when we put that on the side of a triangle, means that pair of sides are congruent to each other. I don't know how long they are, but I know they're the same length, okay? And then I also have, okay, a corresponding pair of legs marked congruent, okay? So the, this pair has two little hatch marks or dashes on them to show that they're not the same as that pair. They're not the same length as that pair. They're a different length, but that these two are congruent to each other and pair up, right, as a corresponding pair of legs. So again, we have hypotenuse that are congruent and one pair of corresponding legs that are congruent. So yes, the HL congruence property can be used to show that these two triangles are congruent. All right, down here in C, okay, um, now this one, I have an angle marked congruent here, okay, I have one pair of corresponding sides, okay. Now these two sides are marked congruent and are a corresponding pair, and this pair of sides is marked congruent and is a corresponding pair, but I don't have right angles. They may look like right angles, but if they're marked, if they're not marked, I can't just assume that those are perfect square 90 degree angles. They may be 90.01 degrees, right? And if they're not exactly 90, then they're not right angles. So since they're not marked, I can't assume 
right? That just because they look square, that those are perfect 90 degree angles. So even though this kind of looks like the hypotenuse, right, and one pair of legs, since these aren't right triangles, or I don't know if they are for sure, I can't use the theorem, okay? Now, I could use angle side angle, okay? But that's not what they're asking me. They're asking me, can the hypotenuse leg congruence property be used? And the answer has to be no, because I don't know, right, what type of triangles they are for sure. All right, last one. Uh, this one, okay, they share that leg or that line right there, so it has to be congruent in both triangles because they share the same side. And this one right here, okay, are marked congruent to each other, but I have the same problem as over here. Okay, I don't know if these two triangles are right triangles or not. And to be able to use the hypotenuse leg property, I have to be dealing with right triangles like I was in the first two. So this one is also a no. Even though I do have two pairs of corresponding sides that are congruent. 